Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. It's time for one of my favorite things to do on this channel, and it is to update you on things that I purchased or got or all that stuff. No, it's not a haul video, you're reading the title. Last year I did a horrible looking uh, anime DVD Blu-ray collection video thing. It was just bad. It was not that great. I remember uh, last year the, the audio was just non-existent so I uh, made like this pseudo music video <sighs> not my style so I wanted to do it proper this time so here is the official anime collection video for 2017 now it's gonna feature a lot of DVDs I don't have a lot of stuff but I wanted to geek out over some titles and hopefully you guys have some questions if you see a uh, DVD that you like or a blu-ray and you want me to do a discussion video on it you want me to do a review let me know down below I would really appreciate that now most of them are in alphabetical order they're just spread out uh, you can't see them right now but I have a ton of crap here and so I'm just gonna go through them and if they're not in order I don't, I don't care at this point let's just talk some anime shall we okay so yeah we're gonna do it rapid fire style and I hopefully I don't uh, get stuck talking about every single one but yeah let's do this uh, first up on the list is the DVD version of Akira the movie followed by Deanna Angel volumes 1 through 7 the whole thing right there uh, volumes 1 through 5 of uh, Bleach right there followed by that was actually season 1 followed by season 2 season 3 season 4.1 season 5 uh, the first Bleach movie, Memories of Nobody, Memories of Nobody, and then we jump, we do a whole freaking jump to uh, Bleach sets, um, what are they, 20, I don't know, 21 and 22 right here, <laughs> there you go, I told you it was random. Uh, what else do we have? It's not anime, but I'm featuring it anyways because it was sort of a collaboration, right? I don't know. I just want to feature them. Uh, my favorite Transformers, Beast Wars, Seasons 1, 2, and 3. This I got for a steal. I think it was like $10 for the whole series. We got Big Windup because I'm a baseball fan. And the second part right there. I haven't watched the second series, so I need to get that. Uh, one of my rare anime uh, steel books. This is Black Lagoon. The first season. Back when Genion was still a thing. Season 1, Case Closed or Detective Conan. Season 2, Season 3, Season 4, and Season 5. I'm, uh, next up, one of my favorite animes of all time. And if it's not in your list, that's okay. This is my channel, so eh. Uh, Code Geass. Set one, Code Gia set two, uh, two volume thingy, two pack. Set three, Code Gias R2, the second series, volume one, volume two, volume three, and volume four, which I did get signed. I don't know if you can see it that well by Johnny on Bosch, the uh, dub voice for Lelouch, Lambarouche. I'm really excited to see season three and all that cool stuff. Uh, I do have it on Blu-ray, but I also wanted to feature this, Cowboy Bebop, the remix edition, signed by Mr. Steve Bloom, one of the nicest guys you will ever meet. He was such a gentleman. Cowboy Bebop, the movie, on DVD. Yet, Darker Than Black. I think this is out of print. And of course, the sequel, Gemini of the Meteor and the OVA stuff. One of the most underrated anime series of all time, Le Chevalier d'Eon, I hope I said that right. I am not proficient in the French language. Uh, volume 2, these are some of the nicest looking DVD box sets ever. Uh, you got book 3. You got book 4. I say book because uh, that's what it says right there. Uh, book 5. And book 6. Speaking of books and historical things, uh, The Count of Monte Cristo, black DVDs of Death Note right there, volume 1, all the way up to volume 9, right there. So yeah, all 9 of these bad boys, it's really, really good stuff. Uh, next up, we've got 
Dragon Ball Kai on DVD. Uh, season 1, you got part 4 right there from the Thin Packs. I miss Thin Packs, they're cool. Uh, what's this? <laughs> part 5, part 6, part 7, part 8. I haven't gotten the uh, Boo ones yet, but I plan on doing so. Kai is great. It's my favorite version of the Dragon Ball uh, home releases. I got the orange brick sets for uh, season 7 and 8, which covered the start of the boost stuff and of course uh, season 9 which ends the whole thing of all the movies it's the one I only it's the only one I really like I have this old edition of uh, the Broly movie the legendary Super Saiyan uh, <laughs> this I'm ashamed to show but it's part of the collection so why hide it I'm proud of this crap I do have <laughs> Dragon Ball GT uh, volumes one through whatever I have almost everything just as a completionist I know it sucks don't um, you don't need to tell me I know it's horrible it's a piece of garbage but you know it's part of the collection is it is what it is uh, I do have Battle of the Gods on DVD and the overrated Resurrection F I did not like this at all oh hey also before when I was going through the C section of my collection I forgot to mention a lonesome uh, Chrono Crusade uh, DVD. I watched the series first on TV and then I picked this up and on second thought I'm not gonna finish it simply because the ending just wrecked me. It's one of those endings that's just way too emotional for me. So I'm good with just this in my collection. Continuing our journey we've got Ergo Proxy the complete collection. One of my favorite animes of all time. Easily top five ever. Eureka 7 the anime legends. This is uh, sort of like the the whole thing without any extras or nothing. Volumes 1 and 2, these are rare and out of print, and I'm proud of that. Yes, there's a Blu-ray version, and that's out of print too, so I didn't get it. But I'm, I'm, I'm just happy to at least own a version of an excellent show. I have the less than stellar uh, movie. Uh, what was this called again? Good Night, Sleep Tight, Young Lovers. It's okay. It's nothing to write home about. One of my favorite shows that stemmed from a game. It's Fate Stay Night, the original one. I do not have Fate Zero or Unlimited Blade Works simply because they are crazy expensive. I'm just gonna watch it on Netflix over and over. So there you go. Uh, yeah, so Fate Stay Night. One of my guilty pleasures. I know it's not that great, but it's still funny to me. Uh, Godanner with the thin packs. Just to give you an idea of it. Uh, See, I missed the digipacks. Look, it's a little bit not safe for work, but that's okay. If you like mechas and a little fan service in your life, then yeah, go check it out. If not, that's okay. Next up, one of the best anime TV shows ever, in my opinion. It's Ghost in the Shell. I haven't picked up the Blu-ray simply because I heard the transfers are horrible and they did a shit-tastic job on them. So yeah, here's season one, season two. You got, uh, so, uh, you got Solid State Society. Oh, and I do have here Ghost in the Shell 2 Innocence. The first one I'll show you later, it's on Blu-ray, so that's why. A classic that you all should have in your collections. Of course, I'm talking about Full Metal Alchemist. I have the original series uh, on DVD, and I just want to try and highlight them all right here real quick, because I think they, are, they have some of the best uh, covers in the whole DVD business, in my opinion. Volume 1, Volume 2, 3, Volume 4, Volume 5, there's 6, there's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13, which is signed by the always amazing Vic Vignana, the uh, English voice actor for Ed. Such a classy dude, and I was uh, so happy when I met him, because uh, FMA is one of my favorite shows ever. I do have the Conqueror of Shambhala Special Edition, which has all the postcards and all that cool stuff, as well as like this uh, book that you see here with uh, insider knowledge on the movie and all that stuff. Really good, dramatic, serious movie that I enjoyed even though Brotherhood is the superior uh, series of the two. Of course, I do have the uh, small OVAs, which were really hilarious. 
uh, especially uh, kids and the chibi wrap-up party. Really cool stuff, so yeah, I got that as well. Next up, a classic if you like your mechas. This is a must-watch, simply because it is so awesome. It is, of course, good and log on. We got this uh, special box set when it was first released on DVD. You open it up, and there's the whole series right there. Uh, yeah. There you go. One of my favorite shows. Well, really, if I own the DVD, it's pretty much a favorite, so I'm sorry for saying favorite a lot. Uh, since we're talking about uh, robots, let's go into Gundam. I don't have a lot of Gundam shows, but I do like what I have. This is Turn A Gundam and Volume 2, which is hilarious because then they announced, like, oh, it's coming out on Blu-ray. <sighs> Yay. <laughs> also, it's raining. That's awesome. Next up, one of my rarest DVDs in my collection, um, simply because they canceled the release. One of my favorite mangas of all time, Monster by Naoki Urusawa. And here we have part one, which consists of uh, 15 episodes. And I have volume one signed by Liam O'Brien. I met him, a really classy fellow as well. And yeah, they never released this which is a damn shame in my opinion. I don't have the original series, but I do have Endless Waltz, one of my favorite uh, anime movies. A Gundam 00, part one, part two, part three, second season, part one, two, three, part four, and the movie as well. Gundam Seed, I got the whole old chipboard DVD box set. This is really beat up because it's been forever, but Man, I had such a blast watching it. Continuing the Gundam hype, I do have, of course, the sequel, Gundam Sea Destiny, the accordion box set, if you will, simply because you have to open it like this to get three volumes, and then you have to open it like that to get the other three. So you end up having this accordion type deal. That is quite frustrating, but kind of cool at the same time. That's half the show, and here's the other half. And of course, the uh, OVA, which rewrote the finale and whatnot. I think I got this for like a dollar. It was that cheap. Of course, it's not that great. Next up, I did get something that is very dear and near to me because uh, it's just that great. Great storytelling, great world building. The adaptation of the Moribito novels. We have the complete series, everything in one uh, volume. Uh, the complete series, the complete collection of the first season of Mushishi. If you ever want to relax and have a great time and just enjoy amazing world uh, stories, folklore, and just have a nice quiet time, this is the thing you gotta watch right there. Like many, I used to watch Inuyasha on TV. I don't have the series, but I do have my single favorite thing out of it, which was the third movie with that uh, holographic cover. Uh, one of my favorites from Sentai is Kids on the Slope. Love this. Last Exile, the complete series uh, from Satoshi Kon's uh, Millennium Actress. One of the best movies ever, in my opinion. Uh, the first volume of Noin. Noin? Noin? I don't know how to say that. Yay. Uh, the first. I thought I was going to collect them all, but then I realized that at 800 episodes. Mm, no, so I'm just. I'm, I'm just gonna show this. One Piece uh, collection number one, that's it. That's all I'm gonna show. As great as One Piece is, because I love it, I'm not, it's just, I don't have any room to collect 100 billion DVDs and episodes of that show, so sorry. Also, a stray Bleach movie. This is the fourth one, um, what was it called again? Hellverse, Hellverse, there you go. You'll see this uh, at the end of the video. I've got the first uh, three standalone Naruto movies. First season of one of my favorite shows of all time, Digimon. The collector premium box of Rurouni Kenshin. Uh, this is the uh, Tokyo arc from Satoshi Kon. You got Paprika, Paranoia Agent, Perfect Blue. And if you saw the Omni Bros episode where we talked about manga and anime and all that stuff, one of my favorite manga that I've ever read is actually an adaptation out of this anime and it is of course Onegai Teacher or Please Teacher. The first Pokemon movie because of course this is an old thing uh, that was released back when Blockbuster still existed. I'm that old. You got uh, the Sayuki movie. I am surprised that the series is back up again. I do have the DVD somewhere but I can't find them but I do have a random volume of Gunlock. Really fun show. Samurai 7. 
Force remake and anime form of Akira Kurosawa's Seven Samurai. Samurai X or uh, Roni Genshin Trust and Betrayal, the OVA movie, which is just brutal. I uh, got that. The motion picture, which is pretty bleh, in my opinion. Uh, reflection, which is just... It is what it is, folks. Although, the music in this thing is just beastly. I'll just say that. It's so good. Scribe 1, 2, and 3. Really cool stuff. Basically like the X-Men, but in anime and in Japan. Really fun stuff. I love it. The soundtrack. Great. Next up, a guilty pleasure. Uh, Speed Grapher, a complete collection. Spirited Away. You'll see some Miyazaki later, don't worry about it. Uh, Summer Wars, I need to upgrade this and pick up a Blu-ray eventually. Uh, Read or Die, the OVA, this is out of print, so I was really happy to get this before it spiked up in prices. Uh, Waiting in the Summer, some would say it is the spiritual successor of uh, Please Teacher. Next up, Blood Plus Part 2, however, Part 1 is in there because I bought it from an eBay user that sold me the show on these um, slips. So I have the first part like this and the second one in thin packs. So yeah, if you love vampires and anime, and a great soundtrack too by the way, really cool stuff, then you gotta pick up Blood Plus. Wow, it is really raining outside, that's awesome, I love the rain. Uh, this custom made box of Rurouni Kenshin for the Kyoto arc and all the this all the uh, DVDs are in here then the final volume which I think I got for like two or three bucks at Walmart for some reason I just wanted to own the finale of the anime even if it's just a crappy ending uh, Witchblade with the chipboard and the revealing covers and all that stuff I have all five volumes and their reflective goodness and uh, they do feature comic book artists drawing the DVD cover, so that's actually pretty cool. First volume of Romeo x Juliet, or Anne Juliet. Really cool adaptation of the classic Shakespeare story. This was actually one of the first DVDs I bought because it was hilarious to me, Those Who Hunt Elves. Again from the Master Satoshi Khan, it's Tokyo Godfathers. You got Trigon Batland Rumble, or Batlands Rumble, I should say. Uh, I hope they put out their old series on Blu-ray. That's a dream of mine for my collection. Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust. Wolf's Reign, the complete collection, or the perfect edition. One of my favorite shonen of all time, Yu Yu Hakusho. All four volumes right there. That's actually almost everything from the DVD side, but I wanted to highlight one of my favorite shows that I am collecting in its entirety. Um, yeah, the number one hyperactive knucklehead ninja, Naruto. I love this show, and if you want to know how much of a fan I am, I did uh, a couple years ago a discussion video that's like two hours long, it's two episodes, uh, two hour long episodes where I talk about everything about the first series right here, all the 135 canon episodes including the fillers and all that stuff. So I talked in depth about this with my good friend Brian, he was the old co-host from back in the day here at A Week in Geekdom, so the two of us on a... Uh, round table discussion if you will talking about Naruto I will link it up at the end of the video so you can watch it if you're interested and you want to geek out over uh, Naruto but I must warn you uh, it's pretty cringeworthy simply because we were mostly winging it and yeah it's pretty old so maybe today I would come up with new videos that would be would be a little bit better but yeah it's still fun plus I had a great time with my best friend talking about our favorite anime together so that's always great so yeah Naruto's uh, box set one I'm gonna go through all of these uh, box set two three four that's where they stopped being boring and got really cool covers with volume five volume six which I do have autographed by uh, Liam O'Brien the voice of Gata volume seven eight Nine, volume 10, even the fillers, 11, 12, 13, uh, 15, and 16 round out the uh, first show. Uh, and I mentioned earlier I had the movies, and of course I do have Naruto Shippuden, volume 1, or box set 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 
Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. I do have 31 coming in the mail, and 32, which is uh, the new one that's pre-ordered, and Naruto the last movie, and that's it for Naruto. So let's head on over to the Blu-ray section. You know, I am so happy you're still with us. Thank you, thank you, because we're getting into the Blu-ray section. This is a horribly long-ass video, and I apologize for that. But let's speed run through them. I don't have a lot of Blu-rays compared to the DVD uh, stuff because I'm only recently uh, getting back into the whole anime thing. So I've been getting Blu-rays uh, as of like uh, two years or something like that. I don't know. Let's see what we got. Uh, in no particular order, actually mostly in alphabetical order. I do have, uh, let's see if I can show the whole thing. Uh, Eden of the East, uh, the King of Eden, Eden of the East. Uh, Lost, uh, Paradise Lost, uh, the Full Monogamous Brotherhood OVA collection, Sengoku Basara Season 1, Attack on Titan Season 1 Part 1, and Attack on Titan Season 1 Part 2. Uh, we've got Bl uh, Black Lagoon, the OVA, Ro uh, Roberta's Blood Trail, Boruto, the movie, The Boy and the Beast, uh, Clanad, Clanad After Story. If you want to have a good time crying, like a baby then watch it. I upgraded this next one because it's one of my favorite animes of all time. I had to get Code Geass on Blu-ray, season one, season two. Same with this one, it's Cowboy Bebop, the Death Parade, Eden of the East proper, you know, the original series. This next one, because I love the series so much, even if it's not that great of a sequel, it's Eureka 7 AO, eh. uh, Lupin the Third, Fujiko Mine, really artsy fartsy series. I love the Lupin shows. Uh, but that one was a little bit out there. The Lupin the Third, Jigen's Gravestone, uh, Evangelion 1.11, signed by Spike Spencer, and I do believe it says "How do" and my name with a little sketch from Spike. Great dude. Evangelion 2.22, Evangelion 3.33. Of course, one of the fan favorites. I had to show it eventually. From the Alchemist Brotherhood, one, number two, number three. Number four, number five, and the star of Milo's uh, movie, The Girl Who Left Through Time. Like I mentioned earlier, Ghost in the Shell. This is the 25th anniversary edition. Ghost in the Shell Arise. Ghost in the Shell Arise, three and four, right there. Ghost in the Shell, the new movie. Get ready for some fan service. High School of the Dead, because I love my fan service and I love my zombies. What's wrong with that? Oh, and uh, the OVA that's really gratuitous but eh whatever it was like three dollars or something like that Helsing Ultimate OVA series the uh, movies one uh, here we have volumes 1 through 8 and volumes 9 and 10 which really sucks that they couldn't you know plan out the whole chipboard to fit this last blu-ray but yeah what you gonna do one of my favorite games had an anime movie which I really love it's Mass Effect Paragon Lost and this, I really don't know why I got it. It was just a blind purchase. I ended up not really liking it that much. It's Infinite Stratos. The save edition of Michiko and Hachin. Great. I'm a huge fan of Watanabe, so that was a must own in my opinion. Miss Hokusai, great, great anime movie. One of my favorite shonen current shows ever, whatever. Uh, my Hero Academia season one. An underrated, hilarious, raunchy comedy, Prison School. Red Line, Samurai Champloo, the first Blu-ray release, Shimonetta, a boring world where the concept of dirty jokes doesn't exist, one of the greatest shows ever, Space Dandy, Space Dandy Part 2, Spice and Wolf, Steins Gate, uh, Steins Gate, the complete series, so I highlighted this a uh, few episodes ago here on the channel, Akito of the Exiled uh, from Code Geass, or Akito the Exiled I should say. Uh, this is one of my newer uh, acquisitions, Hioka, the new Digimon movie. One of my uh, favorite comedies, Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, seasons one and two, and The Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya, the three hour long movie, so yeah. And finally, to finish things off on this long ass video, 
my Ghibli collection spanning all the way from uh, Nausicaa, Castle in the Sky, Grave of the Fireflies, My Neighbor Totoro, Kiki's Delivery Service. I'm so glad G-Kids got the license for the uh, Disney released stuff. Uh, these are just horrible for my OCD. Princess Mononoke, uh, Only Yesterday, Porto Rosso, Ocean Waves, Pompoco, Whisper of the Heart, My Neighbor the Yamadas, see what I mean? DVD, really. Onyo, Howl's Moving Castle, The Cat Returns, Arietti, Spirited Away, Tales from Earthsea, from Up on Poppy Hill, one of my favorites, even though it's not one of everybody's favorites. The Wind Rises, The Tale of Princess Kaguya, and When Marnie Was There. Phew, so yeah, there you go guys. Thank you so much everybody for tuning in and just watching this video. If you made it all the way through, I am really happy that you took the time out of your busy ass schedule to watch some dude talk about his favorite collection. It's very egotistical, but what you gonna do? People keep asking for this sort of thing and uh, I do love anime. Before I was collecting comic books and all that stuff, I was really into anime. I still am, I love the genre. I love all the shows and I'm watching a bunch of new stuff on Crunchyroll and Funimation now or whatever. So thank you so much. As always, you can follow me on your favorite social media platform. Just type a week in Geekdom and I'm there for you guys. All right, I gotta go. I've got to um, just pack everything up again and I will catch all of you on our next episode.